But why only print 20%? The Federal Reserve, the central bank of the United States, creates money in two ways. The first is what we're familiar with, printing physical currency through the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. This cash is used for everyday transactions, especially smaller ones. But the vast majority of money is created digitally. When a commercial bank like Chase or Bank of America needs funds, it can borrow from the Fed. This loan doesn't involve a truckload of cash. Instead, the Fed simply credits the bank's digital reserve account, essentially creating new money out of thin air. This process is called fractional reserve banking. Here's how it works. When you deposit, say, $1,000 into your bank, the bank is only required to keep a fraction of that, maybe $100, as a reserve. It can then lend out the other $900. But when that $900 is deposited into another bank, that bank can then lend out a portion of it, and so on. This cycle, known as the money multiplier effect, creates a ripple of new digital money throughout the economy, all stemming from that initial deposit. It's a system built on credit and debt, where most of the money in circulation is actually a liability someone's promised to pay. This digital reality has profound effects on our economy. For one, it makes transactions incredibly efficient. Imagine the logistical nightmare of moving trillions of dollars in physical cash every day for international trade or stock market operations. Digital money makes the global economy possible. However, it also has a direct impact on inflation.